Welcome to Bill's Bridge Class, Tuesday, August 27th, 2013, Class 144, Bergen Raises. Actually, I thought I had already covered Bergen Raises. I did under Tips of the Day, March 9th of this year, but not part of this class series. But also, by popular request, I was asked to cover Bergen Raises. Bergen Raises really fit in well with the law, which we covered a couple days ago. So here goes Bergen Raises. To appreciate Bergen raises, you need to understand the law. That was covered in class 140 on the 23rd of this month. Let's review it briefly. The law. Find the number of cards in the north-south hand with the most number of cards. It's probably where they'll play. Let's say it's hard to count them. Nine between them. Do the same thing for the east-west cards. Say there's eight. Add the two numbers together. Nine plus eight is seventeen. That is the number of tricks that each side can make with their best trump. It's equal to the total number of cards in trump for both partnerships combined. We went through that in great detail, but let's summarize it on the next page. What is a good strategy for using the law? It is safe, and I'll put it in quotes, to bid up to the number of trumps that you have in the combined hand. If you don't make the bid, you have sacrificed your team's best benefit. For example, you open a heart, you have five, your partner raises to three. If you know he has four, you have nine between you. You're safe at the three level. Knowing the combined trump count is critical in utilizing this strategy, but what's also critical to make it successful is that partner has to be on the same page. Just because it's safe doesn't mean you can bid it. You may bid it and partner will raise you again, thinking you have a stronger hand than you have. So communication in the bidding is critical, and that's where Bergen raises come in. Why Bergen raises? The concept is a simple one. You know immediately, based on the bidding, the number of Trump you and partner have, and since you do that, and your partner knows it also, you can maximize preemption while reducing exposure. You can raise immediately to the safety level that you're at, but partner knows that your strength is and he's not going to get too high. That's the concept. How does it work? Simple. We add two bids. They're called Bergen raises to the support structure of raising partner's opening bid in a major suit. Straightforward. How does it work? Here's how it works. It's really simple. We add two bids to the support structure. This applies only when partner opens one heart or one spade in first or second position, not in third seat. We have another system for that. Here's what it is. Three clubs chose four trump and seven up to a poor ten dummy points, and of course it's 100% alertable. Three diamonds chose four trump, a good 10 to 12 dummy points with four card support, and is also alertable. Why? Partner knows immediately the combined strength, and he also knows the number of trump that you have. You're safe at the three level, and you preempted immediately. So here's the whole picture. Your partner opens a major suit opening. The next hand passes. Of course, that's first or second seat. We use dummy points, not just high card points. And here's the structure. Raise to two. One heart, two hearts. Three trump, six to nine dummy points. Three clubs, Bergen raised. Four trump, seven up to four ten dummy points and alertable. Three diamonds, four trump. Good 10 to 12 dummy points and alertable. A raise to 3 or a weak jump raise now can be done. It's not invitational. It's weak. 
it shows four Trump and two to seven points non vulnerable, but four to seven vulnerable. You immediately go go to the level of risk, but your partner knows you're weak, so he's not going to make a false sacrifice. That's the point. A raise to game, one spade, four spades, shows five trump, or four with great shape and three to ten points. Again, it is sacrificial in nature. Two no trump is the Jacoby two no trump. Four or more trumps, opening hand or better. And... 3 no trump is very specific. 4 3 3 3 distribution. 3 trump, 13 to 15 high card points. There you have it. Let's go through some examples. In each case here, partner opens a spade and the next hand passes. Here's your first hand. 3 clubs. Alert. Bergen raise. 4 card support. 10 up to a poor. Uh, 7 up to a poor 10 dummy points. You have a poor 10 dummy points. You're right on the cusp of going to 3 diamonds. Next hand. It's a good looking 10 points with a point distribution. 4 card support. 3 diamonds. Alert. Bergen raise. 11 dummy points. Next hand. Well, if you count high card points, you got 10 high card points, but yuck, they're terrible. You got four cards in spades. They're terrible. Even with four trump, this is and stinks. Bid two spades. Next hand. You have three card support. Eight plus one, nine. You're too strong. For two spades because you really have ten points. Uh, bid one no trump if you're playing two over one. Otherwise, temporize bid two close, planning to raise spades the next time around. You have ten points. That's correct. Nine plus singleton uh, plus a doubleton. And they're good. There are two aces there. Next hand. Four plus two is six. Singleton uh, doubleton is seven. Three card support. That's a standard raise. Two spades. Next hand. You don't have much in points, but you got a void in hearts. Here's a hand where you jump to four spades. You only have four spades, but with a void, four trump is enough. Partner's not going to get excited about that bid. He knows that you're weak. Examples. Partner opens one spade, first or second seat. Next hand passes. This is your hand. You have four cards of port, two high card points plus two doubletons. What's your bid? Three spades. You might not want to do that if you're vulnerable, but what the heck, do it anyway. Next hand. You have 13 high card points, your four, three, three, three. Classic bid, three no trump. Three trump, four, three, 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 three card support. Last hand. This is not a great hand, but let's add the points up. You have five hearts, so that adds a point. You have one high card point, the ace. Since you have four trump, that diamond is worth three points. So you have adequate points to bid three clubs. You have eight dummy points. Three clubs. Alert. Put it on your convention card if you're going to play it. It is right there. Both Bergen raises and the three no trump raise are alertable and should be marked there. There you have it for Bergen Raises. It's really quite simple, and it's very effective. You can preempt to the level that you are safe to go to, while at the same time being sure that partner doesn't go overboard. Now, what happens if the opponents decide to interfere? If there's interference, aha, that's a horse of a different color. See you tomorrow.